Good morning class, we're going to go over uh, section 2.4. We're going to solve equations with variables on both sides. And then we're going to solve equations that contain grouping symbols. Grouping symbols, so parentheses. So we went a little bit over that in the previous lesson. So we'll go ahead and start. So we want to solve uh, with this equation here. So we have an x on the left-hand side, x on the right-hand side. Well, one thing I'd say, we're still going to draw a river, all right? But what we want to do, so draw a river, is we want to move our x's so that we're going to move the smallest variable. So if I look at 3 and 4, what number is small? Well, 3 is. So we're going to move that by subtracting. So anytime we move x's to the same side, we do that through addition and subtraction. So we're going to move like terms together by adding or subtracting. So we come here, we take the equation, draw a river, and now look at it. Which number is smaller, 3 or 4? Well, 3 is smaller. So we're going to move that first. So we would subtract 3x from both sides. So 3x minus 3x cancels out. 4 minus 3 would just be x. Now we're just looking at this right-hand side. I have minus 1. So how do I get rid of 1? The opposite of subtracting one would be adding one. So to add one to each side, then my answer is three. And then you can always check your work. Three times three is nine. Nine plus two is 11. Three time, four times three is 12. 12 minus one is 11. So it works. Come here, draw a river again. Now look at I have negative three, so include that sign, negative three, and I have eight y. Which number is smaller? Well, negative 3 is smaller than positive 8. So I look at the sign. We're going to either add it or subtract it. We're going to do the opposite of what it has. So it has a negative 3, so we're going to make this a positive 3. 8 plus 3 is 11. Negative 3 plus 3, so these cancel out. So we have 11y minus 9 equals 2. So to get rid of it, so we're just looking at this side. To get rid of the 9, we would add it because it's subtracting it. So we want to go ahead and do that. So add 9 to each side. Once you have add, once, so 2 plus 9 is 11. Now we have just 11 more. So how do I get rid of this 11? Well, divide by 11. 11 divided by 11 is 1. There's our answer. Let's do another example. Okay, and then we can check our work. 8 times 1, 8 minus 9 negative 1. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Good. So we want to go ahead and solve this. So we look at it. First step, we want to go ahead and draw the river. Which one do we want to move? So look at the sign. We have a 4x, but what sign is in front of them? That would be a negative 4x. We have an x here, positive 1. So which, one, which number is smaller, positive 1 or negative 4? Negative 4. So we're going to move negative 4. So again, we're looking at the sign in front of it. So instead of subtracting it, we'll add it. Add 4x. So then that would cancel, and I just have 3 left. Equals x plus 4, or 1x plus 4x is 5x. And now we can subtract. Get rid of the 18. By subtracting it, we have negative 8. So 3 minus 18 is negative 15, and then to get rid of the 5, we divide by 5. So x is equal to negative 3. Come here, same as what we did yesterday. So we want to go ahead and subtract these. 7 minus 3 is 4. So 7 minus 3 is 4x. Then to get rid of the 4, we divide by 4 x is equal to 1. All right, I want to skip. All right, distributive property, this would be practice from yesterday. The biggest thing I want to point out is you have a negative 7x times negative 3. So check this sign. <coughs> Draw a river, but check this sign here. We have a negative times a negative. And that's going to make it positive. To get rid of 21, we subtract it. So negative 7 minus 21 is negative 28. And to get rid of this 7, keep the sign with it. We have a negative. A lot of students forget that sign. 
keep that sign with it. So we want to divide by negative 7. Negative 28 divided by negative 7 is positive 4. All right, now let me go through it. This is what we want to go through here. We have parentheses on both sides. So how do we get rid of, anytime we have parentheses, it's distributive property. So we're going to go 3 times x plus 3 times 4. That would give me 3x plus 12. Then 2 times x minus 2 times 1. So distribute first. Now we have, want to get them on the same side. So which number is smaller, 2x or 3x? 2x is smaller. So notice the sign. It's positive, so to get rid of it, we subtract it. And then, so we have x plus 12 equals negative 2. To get rid of 12, subtract it. So x is equal to negative 14. We're going to go through a couple special cases. I'm going to skip through this one. I want to go through a special case one. So let's go through this, special case. There's two types of cases that you're going to get. So I'll draw the river. And now if you look at it, 2x and 2x. They're the same, so we're going to subtract it. When you subtract, you get, they both cancel. 2x minus 2x cancels, 2x minus 2x cancels. And so I have 5 equals negative 3. Does 5 equal negative 3? No, it doesn't. So this is a special case in which you have no solution. Nothing works. There is no x value. So, it's never true. There is no solution. Come through. We're going to do the same thing. So we distribute. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 1 is 3. So we draw the river. We distribute. Now you can combine like terms on this side. You have 3 minus 5. 3 minus, or there. Not 3, yeah. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Now, you have 3x and 3x. So, we want to get rid of the x. It doesn't matter which one you move, because they're the same. So, this is positive, so we'll move it by subtracting. And then you get negative 2 equals negative 2. Is that true? Does negative 2 equal negative 2? Yes. So, this would be infinitely many solutions. So essentially saying any x value you plug in will work. So I want to skip through this one. You've kind of gone through it. Um, so just a reminder, as you go through it, um, we want to still split our line. We want to combine like terms, so move the smallest one over. There are two special cases. If you solve and you cancel out your x's, if the statement's true, negative 2 equals negative 2, there are infinitely many solutions. If they cancel and the statement's not true, negative 3 equals 5, then there's no solution. 